In my nearly 10 years of using WordPress, I've avoided e-commerce like the plague. Ah, why are you running? Partly because any solution that I came across was bloated, didn't have the features I need, or just too plain difficult to use. But recently I've started exploring Surecart and I think that might just change inside my business and let me show you why. Surecart is essentially a hybrid e-commerce solution for WordPress. So a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of transaction data, orders, customers, and that kind of stuff that locks you into your existing site with something like WooCommerce is offloaded to the Surecart side. There's still a connection and a plugin and you do a lot of the management for each e-commerce site actually inside of WordPress. But the benefit here is that if you needed to rebuild your site or make some dramatic change to your website, you don't have all the huge drawbacks that having all of your stuff inside of WooCommerce gives you. Now, specifically for me, what I do for my clients often is build membership type websites, a lot of times for homeowners associations. So we already have a solution in place for them to manage their documents and have a secure blog and user accounts and all those kinds of things on their website but we've never really had a good way to manage paid memberships. And more specifically, managing invoices. They wanna be able to send invoices directly to their end user. These people are already part of the website. They already have a dashboard in an area they log into, and they want all those transactions to run through the site as well. An example of this invoicing functionality outside of an HOA would be like your water company or your electric company sending you a bill from their system, which is not really something that's easy to do in any other solution until I started playing with Surecart. So I'm looking at the Surecart dashboard here, and this is essentially just the place where you could create a new store. So you can manage some of the top level settings, create a new store, give it some settings like name, payment processors and stuff, but it still actually connects to your WordPress website. And there is a plugin you install on WordPress. All the normal stuff like you'd expect, you know, orders, products, coupons, affiliates, customers, all that stuff is there. And if you're interested in deep dives into any of those specific areas, drop down in the comments below. But specifically what I'm super excited about is the invoicing functionality. So like I just said, being able to send a specific invoice to an end user, rather than having to create a product page and send them the link to that product and they purchase that, we can email them an invoice that's payable directly through the website and it all lives nicely in this system. So what I've done here is I have a couple of just sample products. And in this case, one of these is like an assessment. So in the HOA world, an assessment is a bad word. It means either you did something wrong or the building has to charge you more for upkeep or whatever. So I've got that set up as just a one-time fee of 500 bucks. And then there's like a member dues, which you might want for you know $250 a month. And let's just say one of our members got in trouble. So we need to be able to send them an invoice. We're just simply going to go to orders, invoices, in this case, I'm gonna create a new test invoice. We have that full featured functionality right here. I'll just pick one of those products. So in this case, it's gonna be the assessment here. And then we need to assign this invoice to a customer. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down over here on the right side and select a customer. And we're just gonna pick me here. Apparently I was a very bad boy and I have to pay a bill. Now, of course, there's tons of other options here. This particular user doesn't have their address information filled out. If it did, it would automatically populate. We can do a couple of other things like set due dates on this bill. If there's tax required, of course, we can do that. One thing that's really, really cool that I think my customers are going to love in particular is this payment collection area. We can just set a due date, of course, like you'd expect, but specifically this auto charge customer. So we would be able to have their card on file or you know their ACH transfer info and probably just based on the agreement that you signed as a member of that HOA, we could just automatically bill your information. Now, of course, this is not going to live on your website. This would be inside of Stripe. So Stripe is the one holding that payment information, so it's nice and safe. Of course, you got memo and footer lines, but let's just go ahead and create this invoice. Now I'm gonna switch this back to request payment because I don't actually have payment information, of course, here. So let's just create this invoice and we'll send it. So then inside my email, this is the standard template that comes through, which is perfectly fine. I mean, obviously we'd probably want our logo and maybe some brand colors and stuff, but this is totally usable right out of the box. So I can go ahead and just click on pay invoice. It takes me to the checkout page on the website where it kind of looks akin to like the Shopify checkout page, which is great. I'll just enter some sample billing info here. We can just purchase. And just like that, we're done. So we can come back to our dashboard here. And there we go. We can see this now in our dashboard here. We have two completed orders, one of which we just did right now. Getting started with this invoicing functionality is so simple. And it really only took me maybe about an hour of playing with this, kind of setting up some sample data, wrapping my head around this. And I feel confident enough that I could actually implement this for clients especially because there's so many other things that we could manage in here. I could give the end user the ability to come in here and do this independently. 
Whereas with something like WooCommerce, I'd be terrified to let somebody in there. There's just too many options and too many things to screw up. The other really interesting thing about Surecart, if we take a look, is their pricing is very competitive. So there's a fully featured launch plan that is totally free. There are some fees and different things like that that you kind of need to evaluate. But of course, you can just come down here and take a look at all the planned features and see what is included in each one. The launch one specifically has almost everything except like some subscription savers. And then of course, there's some other things that you would just need to look through here and decide which plan works for you. But the fact that you could get started with this for totally free is really, really amazing. In fact, this WordPress install we were looking at is just set up on the free plan and I could make it go live now with a real Stripe account and start charging people and have essentially no out-of-pocket expense. Surecart seems to be really transparent about the fees they're gonna charge you. So you can definitely take a look at that. So for me, I'm really excited specifically about this invoicing feature inside of Surecart because it's going to allow me to offer a new feature to my clients and potentially down the line to allow them to manage their whole subscription base for all of their HOA members, which is something that I don't think really any other platform out there can do, especially not inside of WordPress. So if you're interested in more content on Surecart, let me know and I'll be glad to continue exploring it and find other use cases for it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan and I'll see you in the next one.